For last class, we talk about SHA-256 algorithm, and I say with the user and the make sure say our information will be passed, they very safe. Um, at the same thing I did here, if you put any um, thing inside this place like this, we put one, two, anything, you know, we could see the hash, they change, they give us another message. So with the change, the message will be given to something we say now code or now um, crypt, crypt, cryptic message or crypto message. So for this place now, if we even put no matter which we put or the length of which we put, example now say we put uh, a whole code inside here, we just put plenty, plenty long code. You will see say this hash with the so you don't get any change in terms of say a long pass uh, within the day before. So the number goes the random and the message could be inside this hash. So this one I say the same thing we would you know talk before. So we we'll go into block and how the block of every blockchain they start for this side now we see block one this one already called genesis block the block will start the blockchain so from this data we will say we want to now i say the same thing say we won't put uh, different messages into this thing imagine our code we put and this nonce just the, not just um random number where they make the you know waiting with the, me the message they very add they add them to the algorithm all right for this one now we don't put all these things together now if you click mine you understand the you know it will give us the information we'll be saying go hash this uh or all, all this code into so it will give us this information will be this long line of different numbers and uh, alphabet so this mine now as you say it takes some time for the computer to actually do what it's supposed to but from here we'll go see the next piece we will not waste too much time on top of this one so we'll go blockchain next how they take attach yourself you don't mind